Hello friends, welcome to my very first YouTube video ever. The vibes are immaculate. We are sitting on my bed in my bedroom. The bed is unmade. I have my two pups behind me sleeping and we're gonna do a little chatty wedding video. So if you don't know, I primarily make wedding and lifestyle content. I have a majority of my following on TikTok at EcoEmilyL if you want to follow me there. I have a ton of short form content with, you know, wedding tips, tricks, how I plan my affordable wedding, etc. So go ahead and subscribe here and follow me there if you're interested. I also have my hot tea. I did a lemon immunity tea with some honey in it. And it's the Yogi brand, so of course it has quotes on it and I live for reading them, but mine today says create the sequence of goodness consequences will always be good okay so for my first video i wanted to share a couple of tips and tricks on how i save money on my wedding so if you don't know i plan my wedding for under 5k which i know sounds insane but i'm going to share three things that i did that saved us a ton of money and i would definitely recommend if you are a bride on a budget looking for ways to cut costs for your wedding i have my little handy dandy notebook okay i took some notes and we're just going to get right into it the first tip that i have well i guess actually before i even get into the tips i'm going to preface them by saying that you have to get creative if you want to save money for your wedding the industry naturally is very expensive so if you are trying to find ways to save money you have to get really creative and think outside of the box for a lot of things in order to cut costs the first tip i have is to be creative when it comes to your venue so when i first started planning my wedding or i should say when i first got engaged and i started to kind of look into wedding venues vendors photographers all of that stuff i was hit with how insanely expensive that is um so i was looking at you know barn weddings farm weddings all of those different type of venue styles and they were insane like minimum of ten thousand dollars and I knew if I wanted to not go into debt for my wedding, I had to be creative and think of ways that weren't a traditional venue that would cost that much, if that makes sense. Another tip that I have is that you don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on your wedding dress, okay? You just don't. You wear it for a couple of hours for one day and you don't need to spend a couple grand on it. Okay, the last tip that I'm going to share in this video is on your florals. So wedding florals... Can... Why is there a literal snowmobile driving down the road in front of my home right now? Okay, after that brief intermission, getting back into it, your wedding florals. I was appalled when I heard what people are spending on their flowers that are, whether they're bouquet, their centerpieces, their arch, florals, etc. Thousands and thousands of dollars on fresh florals that are literally going to be used for a couple hours and then they're probably going to be thrown away. Like you're never going to see them again. So there are a lot of ways that you can be very creative with your florals and save a lot of money on them. So what i did was well let me rewind my original plan was to buy all of my flowers at trader joe's because if you've been to trader joe's you know their flower section is amazing and they're affordable they have eucalyptus a bunch of different fun flowers baby's breath like just everything so my original plan was to buy a bunch of flowers from trader joe's and pre-make all of my centerpieces etc for my wedding but we like our trader joe's was several hours away from where we were getting married at the airbnb so literally i'm pretty sure it was like the week before the wedding or two weeks before the wedding my sister actually found a local flower farm that was only like 15 minutes away from the venue and they sold fresh club they sold fresh cut flowers from the flower farm uh, for a comparable price so um, I ended up going with them and we just bought several buckets of fresh cut flowers and I was able to do the same thing and make my own florals but she was also able to make my wedding bouquet 
with the flowers from her flower garden. Um, so I paid to have my bouquet made, but we made our own centerpieces and um, bridesmaid bouquets and stuff. And then for like table uh, florals and for my arch decor, I just did fake eucalyptus off Amazon. Um, so I think having real flowers was something that was important to me, but also mixing in fake flowers made it much more affordable. So I guess in short, my tip for you would be to be creative and curious about what other options are out there. Or if you really have, you know, a florist that you really like, maybe do only a couple things from there and then be creative with either making your own pieces, getting fake florals, etc., to then tie in to kind of cut the cost down a bit. I think also uh, the fake flower game has definitely stepped up. Um, like I loved my fake greenery. I thought it was super realistic and they also have like fake flowers that look very realistic and they're very silky. Uh, like material so they don't look super like fake or cheap um, another good thing about having fake florals is that you can then sell them after and get some of your money back whereas if you're spending thousands of dollars on all real florals they're just gonna die in a couple of days and you don't really have any investment value in that other than obviously having really pretty flowers I am almost out of my tea and I am also almost out of daylight so I hope these couple of tips were helpful for you if you are planning your wedding and trying to do it on a budget. I have a ton uh, of more, you know, tips, tricks, etc. Those are just the first three that came to mind and thinking of how I saved a ton on my wedding day. So if you are interested, please follow along. I'll be posting more wedding content, lifestyle content, etc. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.